Today, I'm putting my artistic skills to the test once again, using a Pokemon generator to pick random Pokemon for me to draw. Only this time, I'll be completely blindfolded. That's right, I won't be able to see what I'm drawing and have to rely solely on my imagination and instincts. It's going to be absolutely chaotic, so let's see how cursed things will get. Okay, what have we got first? Uh -huh. What the heck? I can't draw this with my eyes open, let alone with a blindfold on. Why did I get this as the first one? Okay, blindfold on. I guess we'll have to find out how this goes. Let's try. He's got like a ball for a head. These crazy eyes that look like lights on a car or something. And then he's got like some weird mandibles. Doesn't he have spikes on his head or something? I don't know. <laughs> I've got no idea. A body. Obviously, he's a spider. I sure hope it does. Oh, and then he's got balls for knees, either side. And then his legs are like attached to the balls. All right, I'm just gonna do stick legs. And then, oh, his feet are like different. It's all gone wrong. Okay, well, I think that's it. <laughs> I don't even know if I managed to get it on the canvas. <laughs> what am I looking at here? <laughs> what is happening? I mean, it is kind of shaped like it, I suppose. This is his pattern here. This has gone a bit wrong. It's like a tree, like, flying away off of his back or something. <laughs> oh, no. I think I tried to draw his face on the bubble rather than on his actual head. It's just so bad. It looks like someone squashed it. Like, it jump-scared some poor person that's got arachnophobia. They stomped on it. And that's what happened. <laughs> that's what we've ended up with. That was such a tough one to start with. Let's do another one. Oh, see, this one's easier. I like this one. A lovely little Marie. Okay, blindfold on. Wah. Oh, do I do the head or the body first? Let's do the head. It's got like this kind of shape head and then it's got these like ear things. Oh, does it have a mouth? I don't think so, right? Does it have a nose? I'm just going to give it little nostrils. And then it's got like little fluff and then it is just fluff, the whole thing. Oh, does it have a tail? Oh, I can't remember. I think it does, right? It's got like a tail, it's like a ball on the end. I literally just looked at a picture of it and I've immediately forgotten because I have a peanut brain. Okay, let's see what I've done. Oh my god, look at it. Like, I don't know, it doesn't look too bad actually, but it looks kind of like someone smeared it across the screen. It's like it's seen something and it's trying to run away. Oh, this poor Marie. It's doing its best, it's just living its life and then I've come along and smooshed it. To be fair, if you looked at this, it would probably look like a Marie. Actually, no, it would just look like a weird sheep with a tail or something. Yeah, but Marie is a sheep. If I said it was a Marie, you'd probably be like, oh yeah. But at first glance, it's like, this is just a weird sheep. I think the problem is when I take my pen off the tablet, I've immediately lost all bearings of where I'm at on the screen. So everything just starts drifting away and going wrong. But I mean, that's the fun part, right? That's the whole point. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Let's get another one. Oh no. How am I supposed to draw this guy? The thing is, I like Rowlet and his evolution line. Like he was my favorite one. But can I draw him? Absolutely not. Okay, so he has like a spiky leaf hood, like that kind of, oh, it's, no, this is already crazy, I can tell. A beak, and then he's got like big round eyes like this, right? All right, then there's a feather on his head, like this? Oh, he has big eyebrows, right? He's angry. And then he has like a cross on his chest, and that's all I remember. There's this bit that like drapes up here, I think? And then he has wings. Uh, I don't remember where the rest of his kit goes, so I'll just make something up. Does he have a tail? Well, he's got a tail now. And then his feet, well, they're just talons, you know, like birds of prey talons, aren't they? I don't remember if I drew the other leg, so I'm just gonna do this. There, I think that'll do. What happened? One leg's higher than the other. This is supposed to be his wing, but it's like, I don't know what is happening here. Is that his beak or is this his beak? There's two, he's got like three beaks. His eyebrows are flying up into space. They're in the stratosphere. Oh, the cross. The cross on his body is over his face. Oh no. I mean, it does look like a bird. You know, the wings and the feet make it look like a bird. What kind of bird? It's a mystery. We will never know. New species discovered, maybe, like crazy Picasso pigeon. Next. Okay. He's not that difficult. At least I know this one from memory, kind of. My tiny little brain can only remember old things. And Hitmonchan, he's an old thing. How bad could this be? He's got like a weird head, this kind of, and then he's got eyes, he's a bit angry, and then he's got a vest kind of thing with a belt, and then a skirty thing, a punching glove right here, and then another one somewhere over here, I think. He's got like weird shoes, 
Well, they're not weird. There's no form to them. They're just little things at the bottom, I think. Oh, I need to add detail to his skirt. Some lines here. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs> oh, no. He looks like an angry dustbin or something. Look at him. He's literally like a tree that's sort of merged with Oscar from Sesame Street. He's firing his eyeball like a weapon. Oh, that's horrible, actually. What a horrible cursed image. Angry tree dustbin man shooting eyeball out of face. Oh no, I'm sorry, Hitmonchan. I thought this would be easier, but apparently not. Okay, let's try another one. Give me something a bit complicated that's going to take me some time. I really want to create some true abstract art that can be put in a museum somewhere. Okay, well, you can't put that in a museum because it's just a ball with eyes, but I'm sure I'll find a way to mess it up. There's always a way. So, Galele is a big shell thing, and I've immediately forgotten how his shell goes. I'm getting in confused with Cloister. Like this, and he's got teeth, and he's like, ha oh, ha just making stupid noises. And then he's got big old eyes like ghastly or something. And then he's in a shell, but his shell has holes in it. Like, you can see part of his body, like this. I can't remember if he has spikes. I'm going to give him some. I'm getting him confused with Cloister again. But he has spikes now, so, you know, it's an upgrade. He probably looks cool. He's not going to look cool, is he? Oh, no, I think we're done. <laughs> okay, he absolutely does not look cool. What is going on? I gave him a nose. Oh, this poor guy. He looks like an angry... I don't know what even. He's just angry with a big nose, right? And he's like just a little guy on the floor scuttling around like, eh, leave me alone now. Poor guy. That's what he looks like. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, we know this one. Can't draw flowers. Flowers are hard, even when I can see. But, you know, this is going to be a disaster. Roselia. Roselia, Roselia, Roselia. She, the form is quite simple. She has a circle head with these curvy eyes with eyelashes on them, I think. And a little mouth. And then she's got like a spiky thing on her head like this. And then her body is just, she's got like a long thing here and then a leaf. And then her legs are just little blobs like that. But it's the flowers that's going to be the problem because I can't draw flowers. I think it's like this, right? A rose. Oh no. A rose. Rose flower. We'll make something up and hope for the best. And then i got to do the other one. Oh no, it's over here somewhere. A flower. This. Oh. Flower. Squiggle. I don't know. I'm lost. I don't know where I am. Oh, she's got shoulder pads. I immediately forgot. Shoulder pad. Shoulder pad. Okay. Is that it? Let's see what I've done. She looks so sad and her arm is detached and flying away. She's like the saddest cheerleader you've ever seen. The flower on this side is not bad. Like it kind of looks like a flower, maybe. Wait, where are her shoulder pads? Oh, is that what this is? The sad face. Her actual mouth is like down in here somewhere in her neck for some reason. She just looks really sad. Look, I tried. <laughs> Well, that was an absolute whirlwind of a challenge, but the results were pretty hilarious and I had a great time. What about you? Which one was your favourite? If you enjoyed this video, show me some love by hitting the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel for more drawing challenges and art related content. Maybe even suggest some challenges you'd like to see me try in the comments below. But that's it for now. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye!